Catholic Morning Prayer for September 27, 2024 Memorial of St. Vincent Where Paul, Priest Morning Offering In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you this day with all its joys, challenges, and blessings. I unite my thoughts, words, and actions to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, asking for the grace to do your will in all things. May I glorify you today and bring love and peace to everyone I encounter. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer for the New Day Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of this new day. Thank you for the breath in my lungs, the light in my heart, and the opportunities that lie ahead. Help me to walk in your ways today, trusting in your guidance and protection. I offer this day to you with a spirit of gratitude and hope. Amen. Morning Psalm Psalm 143 verses 8 to 10 Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Scripture readings. First reading. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 11. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. The Word of the Lord Gospel reading, Luke 9 verses 18 to 22. Once when Jesus was praying in private and his disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. But what about you? He asked, Who do you say I am? Peter answered, God's Messiah. Jesus strictly warned them not to tell this to anyone. And he said, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Today's readings remind us of the seasons of life and the call to understand who Christ is in our journey. In Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 11, we are reminded that life is made up of many seasons, times of joy and sorrow, building and tearing down, embracing and letting go. This passage speaks to the reality that everything has its proper time and place in God's plan. We may not always understand why things happen when they do, but God has made everything beautiful in its time. It invites us to trust that God is at work in every moment of our lives, orchestrating a bigger picture than we can fully comprehend. In Luke 9 verses 18 to 22, Jesus asks his disciples an important question. Who do you say I am? Peter responds with the profound truth. You are the Messiah. This pivotal moment in the gospel challenges us to personally reflect on our relationship with Jesus. Who do we say Jesus is in our lives? Are we willing to follow him even when he speaks of suffering and rejection, knowing that his path leads to resurrection and eternal life? These readings encourage us to trust in God's timing and to deepen our personal relationship with Christ. Acknowledging him as the Messiah, 
our Savior, who leads us through the seasons of life toward eternal joy. Act of Consecration to Our Lady O Mary, my Queen and my Mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep me and guard me, as your property and possession. Amen. Acts of faith, hope, and charity. Act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O oh my God, relying on your almighty power, infinite mercy, and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of your grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Intercessory Prayers Heavenly Father, I lift up these prayers to you, trusting in your love and mercy. For the Church, that she may continue to proclaim the truth of Christ's identity as the Messiah and lead others to a deeper relationship with Him, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders and those in positions of authority, that they may be guided by justice and compassion, seeking the good of all, especially the most vulnerable, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For those experiencing times of difficulty, grief, or uncertainty, that they may trust in God's plan and find comfort in His love, knowing that He makes all things beautiful in His time, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may answer Christ's call to follow Him, recognizing Him as our Messiah and Savior, I pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. For my personal intentions, pause for silent prayer. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. Amen. Prayer to my guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of this day and for the opportunity to draw near to you through prayer. I am grateful for your love and your constant presence in my life. Help me to live today with a spirit of gratitude, serving you and others with a joyful heart. Through Christ, my Lord, I offer you my heart and soul. Amen. Resolution for the day. Today, I resolve to trust in God's timing and to recognize Jesus as the Messiah in my life, living with patience and humility in all situations. Concluding Prayer Loving Father, as I conclude this time of prayer, I ask for your grace to guide me through this day. Help me to follow Christ's example of love, humility, and trust, and to recognize the beauty in all the seasons of my life. May my words and actions reflect your goodness. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless and protect me today. May he guide my thoughts, words, and actions. And may I always seek to live in his love and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.